front facing camera on the S9 is very good, but the front facing camera on the P20 Pro is also very good, but it's a little bit soft. I won't lie to you. The Huawei P20 Pro has gotten the highest DxO mark so far. And it's a second phone actually to do this. The first phone was a younger brother. That was the Huawei P20, not the Pro version, which got 102. And the Huawei P20 Pro got 109. So this is the highest rated smartphone on DxO mark. Now, this grade that it has received is not a full summary of what the phone is per se, what the camera has to offer. And from what I have seen and heard, the rated does not live up to the hype. And I'll tell you why in a second. Let's go first down into the subdivisions of the category because DxO does not give an average. It has a ranking order of what they think is more important than the other. So this ranking is very subjective. Let's look at all the subcategories that DxO Mark has given to the Huawei P20 Pro so we can see if this phone camera or these three cameras live up to the hype and if the 109 rating was justifiable. We can see here that the DxO Mark for photos that was given was 114 which is really high and the DxO Mark for the video was 98. So these two are much higher than the Samsung Galaxy S9 ranking. For the exposure and contrast, 93, color, 85, autofocus, 98, texture, 72, noise, 79, artifacts, 71, flash, 92, zoom, 73, bokeh, 70. So let me tell you what photographers look for when they're buying a camera or a lens what are the most important things first of all a lot of these things are important but for me as a photographer i will be looking for first of all exposure and contrast it's 93 which is really high and i'm impressed with that um autofocus it's important but not really that important when it comes to like speed and stuff so 93 is really high but it's not going to change my life um the next thing i look for is noise noise as a photographer, it's very important. The less noise, the sharper the image. So this has got 79, and that's really good. And um, you know, bokeh as well. There's been a trend in the, the last two years for having bokeh in the camera. So the 70 and bokeh is also really good. Let's go to video. Um, for video, exposure and contrast was uh, 82. So not as good as the picture. Color 89, which is really amazing. Autofocus 98, texture 58, noise 83, artifacts 82, stabilization 94. This is really good, guys. But I have to say, stabilization on the Huawei P24 will only work at 1080p. Anything above 1080p, like 4K, it's not going to stabilize. So just keep that in mind. Okay, if we look at the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, we see that. It got a total score of 99 and for photos it got 104 and for videos it got 91 which is significantly lower than the Huawei P20 Pro. So exposure and contrast 91, color 81, autofocus 91, texture 67, noise 79, artifacts 62, flash 86, zoom 65, bokeh 50. All of them are lower than the Huawei P20 Pro. And some of them are significantly lower. Uh, for example, the bokeh here is 50. But the bokeh on the Huawei P20 Pro is 70. This is a very big jump. If we look at the video on the Samsung Galaxy S9, it got 83 for exposure and contrast, which is the only thing that was higher on this phone than the Huawei P20 Pro. Color, 88. Autofocus, 87. Texture, 50. Noise, 74. Artifacts 80, stabilization 86. Looking at these ratings does not determine if one phone produces a photo that is good or better than the other. When taking a photo at 10 megapixels on the Huawei P20 Pro, uh, compared to the rear camera or the Samsung Galaxy S9, uh, what was found was that it's very sharp at its normal amount, uh, not zoomed in. But the moment you go zoomed in, you can see that the photo has been artificially and overly sharpened 
and this gives you this very like rigid sharp corners that do not look don't look natural uh, when you look at the samsung galaxy s9 for example at that same uh setting when you zoom in it's a lot softer it's a lot more natural it looks a little bit better looking at the camera on the s9 actually it's actually a lot better in low light because it has a f 1.5 and f 2.5 pictures so a low light uh maybe the p20 pro might be sharper but the s9 is a little bit is a bit brighter and it's got more detail at that time of the night so if you're really into night photography the s9 is the camera for you although it might have a lower dx1 mark the s9 is better at low light but when the phone switches to 40 megapixels it literally destroys the samsung galaxy s9 in lower light the s9 is gonna be more superior that's a guarantee but when it comes to everything else zooming in uh, day photography slow motion everything the phone is just better sharper more dynamic range better contrast better bokeh better texture better noise it's just it's got less artifacts it's just it's got less more ray it's just a better phone and 40 megapixel the 40 megapixel camera on this phone is game changer and it deserves a 109 ranking but one downside one major downside is that at 4k video recording the phone does not have stabilization and this is where the s9 destroys the p20 at 4k because at 4k you can really see a difference in the video quality because they are both very good very sharp but because of the stabilization at 4k in the s9 it just literally looks more professional looks better although the p20 pro is a lot sharper so if you if you're into video recording at 4k get the s9 it's not as sharp as the p20 pro but stabilization just makes a video more better it's it makes it nicer per se for example right now i'm using a canon 6d with a tamron 24 to 70 vcf 2.8 so it has vibration control on this camera so i could literally shake this and it will not jitter or look too bad so like having a vc camera or a vc lens or a lens that has stabilization inbuilt into it at 4k is really amazing 1080p stabilization is okay but people don't buy 4k cameras to use 1080p unless they want to save storage but yeah these are my thoughts on it i think that the p20 pro is the better camera i won't lie to you compared to the s9 it has better everything literally like look at the dxl mark everything is better the exposure it's it's very close on the video so that doesn't really matter but on almost everything every single ranking color noise exposure all those things bulk here the p20 pro is just far superior but if you're into 4k video recording and you're into low life photography get the s9 but if you're just a normal day-to-day -day shooter with the intention of taking selfie pictures i know one more thing i've got to say the front facing camera on the s9 is very good but the front facing camera on the p20 pro is also very good but it's a little bit soft i won't lie to you so if you want selfie ca okay so here's my suggestion if you're into selfies night photography and 4k video recording get the s9 but if you don't care too much about selfies if you don't mind the softness of the uh, of the selfie camera if you don't mind recording 1080p stabilized video and you're okay with night photography in the sense that you don't mind it a bit dark and you just like the general sharpness of the phone get the p20 pro in my opinion i won't lie to you like i am into night photography i like 4k stabilized videos and I like a better front facing camera. So the S9 is more compelling to me, although it got a lower DXO mark. So in my opinion, which is better? Camera wise, the P20 Pro is sharper and the 40, if you use a 40 megapixel camera, it's on the same level and a lot of times better. But if you don't care about over sharpness, and having a more natural color temperature the s9 is just literally better for selfies better for night photography better for video so guys that's my opinion of this 
found i feel like dxo mark are justified per se but for a normal day-to-day -day person both phones are amazing if you're a videographer or a photographer or you like taking photos at night which is i would say most people get the s9 it's a really good phone really good cameras so it's your boy solid mind please like comment subscribe we're almost at 200 subs we are going to reach 1000 subs by the end of next month i believe it so subscribe right now and thanks for watching peace